Welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Video LUT app. First order of business is find an image you like. I got this from the Snapchat folder on my phone. And now we're going to look through the presets. These are conversion LUTs. Basically, they would take your videos out of log format if they're already taken that way. They tend to darken things up. Now, normally I can go for either stylized, slightly stylized, or more realistic. So today I'm choosing a little bit in the middle of uh, slightly stylized and realistic. So I'm just using the intensity scale just to see where I like this particular LUT. And then we're going to go into the adjustment tab. This is where you can make all the little decisions and change every little detail. I'm going to add a glow from the sun. Not much of a difference from the original image, so let's mess with the fade just a notch. The real key to this is just tinker with it until you get the image where you want it to be and have an idea of where you want to go before you start. You can just do it freeform, but you'll be here for a while if you don't. Now with this halation function here, uh, really, really important you tinker with this and what it does. Because as you can see, that car on the bottom is having a bit of a red glare on it. You could hypothetically cut that out with a third-party editing app, but this is purely a video LUT video. So just mess with the levels until you get it where you want it. I just like that little extra bit of red in there just to really sell the fact that it's coming from the sun and there's heat. Now we're on the HSL tab in which you can mess with the hues and saturation and lightness of any particular color you choose. I will do a future video on how to implement this function to its fullest extent. So as you can see, I picked the yellow because it picks up the green and the leaves and the grass. Okay, this is the hue sat thing. As you can see, you can get really stylized with this app. Like, this looks like something straight out of anime. Make it real green, but I digress. This is good for controlling the lighting with a variety of color shaders, like the blue and the yellow. Green and purple. And of course, red and blue. Now in the upper right hand corner, you have the compare tab, which lets you mask off one side of it or the other just to see the original versus your edit so far. I always love to check that. I always love to keep that in mind. This is how you add a green. You can dictate the size of the green that you're adding on this bottom tab here. And the top one denoise strength smoothens out your image. So if you have a lot of pixels, it will take that out. Here's another lighting tab option with color shaders. This one is for real intense imagery. And now we're on my favorite part, the CDL color wheel. As you can see, the offset is very dramatic, but you also have power, slope, and a slider for your color saturation in general. There's no real rhyme or science to how I do this. I just try to make the image look as good as humanly possible in my eye. It's like Bob Ross painting. You just find it. As you can see, I went for a naturalistic, sunshiny look with just a little, little touch of stylization. But we're gonna, we're missing something here. Let's let's add a little grain to it. Give it that '70s look. Okay, okay, it looks good. That's the original. If you hold down the image, it shows you the original image as well. And then when you release, it takes you back to your edit. It's a little too dark, so I'm going to adjust the lighting just a little bit using this tab here, and I am, I'm fully satisfied with that. Hopefully this taught you guys something. 
Now in the upper right hand corner, click the button that says save and then save image. And then it gives you options from there that I edited out because it has my contacts in there. Here's the original. And here's the remake. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one.